hot fire flame, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be inspired and based around P. Louise, the massive makeup artist in the UK. If you haven't heard of her, then seriously search her Instagram, join the Facebook group, P. Louise Takeover. It is an amazing community and P. Louise herself is so down to earth. I've been following her for... It could be like maybe eight months now so I haven't been like hardcore P. Louise from the beginning because I didn't really know much about her but now I'm like hardcore P. Louise <laughs> um, and I got the opportunity to go to her makeup palette launch I paid for the ticket myself and um, just in case anyone thought that I got sent a, a ticket for free with my YouTube and stuff I never um I was happy to pay my own money to go and support her because I just absolutely love her this is her palette. She actually signed it for me. She signed everybody's at the launch who like queued to see her kind of thing. So I queued for like an hour to see her just because there was that many people. And she, what I loved about her at the event, I mean, I love her anyway, but what I loved about her at the event was she was so dedicated to meeting each and every single one of us. So I didn't mind that I waited an hour and stood there t to see her because I knew that when it was my chance to see her, she wouldn't just be like, hi. Bye, kind of thing like she asked me if I enjoyed it she was like talking to me we had a selfie like it wasn't just like hi thanks for coming move along kind of thing and that's what I really really love about her I feel like she actually does care about us and about the people that support her so I've watched um maybe four four or five of her live videos she does like live training videos um, and that you buy off her website and I've done quite a few of them and um, I also got the makeup kit in the Christmas 12 days of Christmas P. Louise deals that she did so I will be doing a video showing you what I got in my makeup kit as well I did put a picture on my Lucy's Ladies Facebook group for my YouTube channel I did put a picture on there for you all to see because I had a lot of you asking me questions about what I got and stuff like that so I did put a picture on there but today we're going to be focusing on this and when she does bring out her eyeshadow base, which um, I don't really have a good eyeshadow base at the moment, so I'll be getting that when it does launch. But when it does launch, I'll do a new video showing you the eyeshadows on the eyeshadow base that she's brought out as well. And she's bringing out pigments too, so I'm really, really excited. And I'm going to sign up for, if you watch Pee Louise, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to sign up for her monthly subscription. It hasn't started yet. Um... But it sounds amazing, so I'm going to sign up for that as well because I just, honestly, like I just absolutely love her. Um, so this is the goodie bag that you got from the event. The event was £60 and you got the P. Louise palette in it which is worth £40 and you got a beauty blender, um, a big thick like P. Louise notebook for like, because there was live demos at the event so you could have wrote notes down. I had a pen inside it as well. Um, and obviously you got to go to the whole event and everything and it was £60. They also had VIP tickets which were 150 and I did debate getting them but I thought I get so I've got so much makeup and I've got so much stuff. Um I'll just be sensible and I'll get the £60 one and then spend that extra money that I've saved at the event. But I actually even picked up two things whilst I was there. So I was quite proud of myself. <laughs> but now it's making me think, oh well I've I've got that money now, I might as well spend it, but I've, I've probably warned. Wait until you see the haul that is coming up, if that isn't already up on my channel. I have got like, I'll show you, it's like the hugest haul bag of makeup ever. So this is the bag that we got in the makeup kit that she did for Christmas time. And it is literally like cram packed of products. I mean, a lot of them are P. Louise inspired. Um, so I got some more like MAC Fix Plus, um, Mineralized Skin Finishing Dark Tan, Medium Tan, that kind of stuff. Um, there is some like, there's like a little sneak peek for you. <laughs> um, I've got some like Eldora lashes in here as well. There's absolutely like all sorts. I've got like a P. Louise voucher in here. Um, there's absolutely loads of stuff that I've, I've can't wait to try um anything else oh this is P. Louise inspired as well this is the bird pepper powder blush that she always uses for eyeshadows in the oop in the live demos that she does so I picked up that as well like I literally like she tells me she tells us what's good and I'm like okay bye we'll buy it thank you <laughs> so yeah I've got a huge haul of all this coming soon 
and I've got all my Christmas and birthday haul stuff to come as well so there's going to be a lot of hauls coming <laughs> if it isn't already up yet <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my base makeup on first because I don't really have a good eyeshadow base so I'm not going to do like a really intense eyeshadow look today I'm just going to have like a play around with it and see what I come up with and I think I might use Prin which is like a highlighter shade here these are like so soft by the way like like watch I do it with like a clean finger one two look how pigmented that is like it's crazy this palette has two exclusive shades in it and um, which was only exclusive for the Manchester event so like I said if you don't know P. Louise she is based in Manchester so in this palette it has two exclusive shades that were just for the Manchester launch um, and I believe they are Bestie which is this one here and Sunkissed I believe I'm not 100% sure I know that there was two extra ones in here and I had saw like a post saying that them two were the extra ones if you know otherwise please let me know down below so I know but she will be selling these two exclusive shades individually and pans anyway and she designed this palette so that you can take the pan out and put a new pan in so you don't have to we purchased a full palette if you run out of a certain colour, which is amazing. I actually put that re like, I put that recommendation on the Facebook page, like the page. God, I'm just so excited, I can't even get my words out. But I put that recommendation on the Facebook post saying, because he asked if I cry, oh my God, Lucy? Like, I just love her so much, it just doesn't come out. <laughs> but yeah, I put the recommendation on the Facebook page for her to do it so that it's reusable pans. You can take them out and put them back in. And yeah, I don't know if it was my my suggestion that she read or if it was somebody else who said the same thing, but I feel like I helped her with this process, <laughs> even though I probably didn't. But yeah, I really like the fact that you can take them out and put them back in because like my palette's signed, I don't want to have to bin that. Um, my only issue is the palette doesn't like shut, so it's gonna that it will worry me when I am travelling because obviously it's gonna like flap and stuff. Um, so I'm just, my plan is just to keep it inside this sleeve that it comes in so that it can't flap open kind of thing. I'll get it off. So I'll cut my makeup on and we'll come back to the eyes. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> so I've just tried this Tarte foundation and I absolutely love it. I do think it's a bit too <laughs> dark for me. So I've had to like just bronze up my neck a little bit. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this. I just wanted to just let you know that the will be a video coming up soon of why I haven't been uploading videos for like five six weeks now it's solely because I've been struggling a lot with my own mental health you just saw like if you watch my youtube channel you saw my stories before and um, when I did a video about my mental health and how low of a place I got and stuff like that um, and I have been kind of going through that quite a bit in December um, and I was poorly, I had the flu for like three weeks as well, which everyone's kind of getting at the moment as well. So yeah, it was just, it was just a hard time for me. So I haven't really been filming or anything like that. And obviously I've, I've been working full time now, so it's so hard to film when I don't have a day off work. And there's always people in the house at the weekend. I'm going to be trying the Obsessed Cosmetics Pressed Highlighter in Creme. Um, so yeah, I'm, I've just not been in a good place recently. Um, and if you don't follow me on Twitter as well, then I haven't had a chance to let you know. But we also found out that my mum. Oh my god, I haven't even like put that on my cheek properly yet. Wow. <laughs> we also found out that my mum has a cyst on her brain. It's hard, like. I don't know, it's weird saying it and like finally telling you, but. Yeah, we found out my mum's got a cyst on her brain, so it's been it's been like an emotional roller coaster. If you know me, you know how close I am to my mum. And if you're like in my Facebook group, you'll see that my mum is such a huge supporter of my of my YouTube. This highlighter by the way. Whew, just to lighten things up a little bit. Um yeah, you'll have saw that my mum is such a huge supporter of my YouTube as well and yeah, it's just been it's just been a hard time. Um, we've also found out that because basically she was like had that leg pain didn't she for like two years and she still obviously got it now but we didn't know what it was from so um, obviously we've had like two years of trying to find out what it is found that she has like a brain cyst 
like braid assist, assist on a braid and it's like at the back, at the top where her, it joins to her, her back as well and um, it's kind of like behind her throat so yeah it's just been it's just been a hard time recently so yeah I'm really sorry that I haven't done many videos but I am trying I promise <laughs> so let's get into the eyeshadow palette and let's make things a little bit more light-hearted now just wanted to, to be upfront with you about how it's how my life's been going recently so yeah that's what's been happening <laughs> but we also found out that actually the leg pain that she's experiencing isn't actually from the cyst it's um she's got a slip disc in her back and it's like kind of I think by the sound of it, it's like fused of the bone and it's pushing on a nerve and that's what's causing her leg pain that's made my heart feel a bit funny like talking about that so let's go on to something a bit more fun so here's a palette I'm going to go in with P. Louise which is like the yellowy shade here and I'm going to use this as my crease colour these colours just like scream to me as you can see like I really do need to get the P. Louise base because putting this foundation on my eyelids is just not a good enough option <laughs> I think it comes out on the 30th, on the sounds of it. Um, she was going to do a pre-launch because everybody jumped on her back over this um, event instead of just realising that she's like a one woman band. It's her first ever event, like nothing's ever going to go smoothly. Don't get me wrong, um, my anxiety was through the roof at the event because it was so crowded and so many people in such a small space but I know that she tried her best like I was stood out in the queue I didn't get into the event till like two and I was stood in the queue and that's when like Paige had found out that everyone was still like stood outside waiting and I, I could tell that she was not happy like she wasn't happy at all that people were still waiting and hadn't got into the event yet so she like like her team must have like finally told her because I think they were a little bit nervous to tell her which I totally understand like I'd be the same because like technically like she's like top dog she's a boss so you don't want to like admit to her that there's still people waiting outside so when she did find out she came straight out and was like come on everybody in 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 and was like really um really energetic and helped to get to to get people in quickly so otherwise I thought I think we would have been waiting for at least another half an hour just to get in so but yeah it it was um it was amazing it wasn't honestly it was such an amazing event and I'm so proud of, of her and how it all went and that I got to meet her and stuff but it's just a learning curve do you know what I mean like she'll learn from it we'll learn from it like I think people just expected it to be like I don't know I don't know like a really really big established brand is in like like she is anyway but I mean like on the levels of like, I don't know, like NYX and you know, like places like that, like the the brands that have been in this business for a very long time and have been doing this stuff for a very long time. This is so pigmented by the way. <laughs> Considering I'm applying it on this like, like not even good base. <laughs> so, I don't know, I feel like she kind of, well she did, she got a lot of hate for it, which I don't think was deserved. I think they should have let her have that night of after the event. I think they should have let her stay in like the like take it all in kind of thing and then after that then give her some constructive criticism, not slating her and do you know what I mean? I just wanted to cuddle her like when I got in from the event and I saw all the stuff, like I literally just wanted to cuddle her. And like seeing that people have put the palettes on eBay and selling them on and like that people were such low lives they actually went to the event and stole out of other people's goodie bags like one person stole off the back of somebody's wheelchair like how disgusting is that and like Paige kind of got the backlash of that from certain people and it's like she was not the one who stole from them do you know what I mean like it was always like the people that went that did that that were like low lives to do that I don't know I don't know she's the queen so she'll she'll I think she took a while to bounce back, but she will bounce back, because ain't nobody bringing pee down, no. <laughs> like, how pigment is that? That is just stunning. So I'm going to be going in with, like, a smaller brush. This is the Morphe M411 brush, and I'm going to be going in with Sunkissed. I don't actually know what look I'm doing today. I'm just kind of winging it. And I'm going to put this just slightly lower. Oh, my God. Like, I knew these were going to be pigmented, but, like, not this much. Do you know what I mean? 
So this officially launches on the 30th of January and it's going to retail for £40 but the palettes that are getting launched on the 30th have the mirror on the inside and they're like a glossy look whereas this one's kind of um like cardboard because she wanted to be able to sign it and obviously it'll just rub off if it's glossy. And then I'm going to take an even smaller brush. This is the blank canvas E41 brush, which is like double ended with the E40 on the end. And I think I'm going to go in with. I can't decide. Like, do I want to go like more brownie? Or do I want to put like a bit of queen in it? I know I definitely want to use bestie. I think I'm going to go in with a bit of queen, which is the red shade. And I know like red is so so hard to to get right and the red one feels different in the palette compared to the rest of them and the red one's a little bit more not as smooth and it's it's a little bit more gritty but not bad gritty but let's see how it applies because I know red is such a hard shade to get right when you're making it I like really 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 want to do a course at P. Louise's like makeup academy so I've been talking to my friend Emma, um, because we're both like really, really interested in going. So we're like looking to see whether there's like a day course, um, or there's like a couple of day course that we can do. I'd love to do like a seven day one, but I just don't have <laughs> the moolah to do that. I just feel like it would really improve. Like obviously I know like I have worked on makeup counters before, like I've worked for Benefit and I've worked for Galan, but I just feel like doing the courses. Even though I'm not working in makeup anymore, I'm, I'm working, like I work for mine, the mental health charity. I just feel like it'll just up my makeup game for myself and also for, like, for tutorials as well because I'd love to do like makeup tutorials where they're more over the top and not over the top but like full glam, what, not like as natural as what I kind of am compared to them. Um, yeah, I just want to be able to ace that kind of of makeup this red by the way is stunning like absolutely stunning like this swatch amazing I never actually tried it on my eyes until now how can anyone criticize that why would people sell this palette on <sighs> I know some people will have sold this palette on because there were people that were gone like and the partner had a ticket and obviously the partner isn't wasn't interested in makeup they were just kind of gone so that they had somebody to go with kind of thing so I totally understand them, them kind of people selling on the tickets or uh, do you know what I mean but pff, look at this like so then I'm going to take an even smaller brush and I'm going to go in with latte which is this brownie colour here and I'm just going to go with this one first just to kind of build up a little bit more depth before I go in with Bessie after that and I don't really know where I want to put this I'm going to put this like I think a little bit lower than the red but kind of focus it quite a lot on the outer corner and I think I might just put like one of the highlighter shades in the inner corner just to kind of make that pop a little bit if that makes sense and then going in with my even smaller brush I'm going to go in with Bestie which by the way like out of all the colours all of the colours, all of the colours, amazing <laughs> which by the way out of all of the colours was the one that was like the most pigmented and I was just like wow like all these ones are like amazing pigmentation but like Bestie kind of like shook me even more to the core than the other ones did. <laughs> so I'm just going to be focusing this a bit more on like the outer bit. I feel like Bestie would be like a really good one if you really wanted to like darken up the crease and then cut it. You know, like so it was like really like defined crease kind of thing. Ignore these little bits by the way because I'll clean them up after. Because obviously I've gone in with my foundation first. I feel like Bestie is such a good colour if you have green eyes as well. I'm just going back in with our sandwich stages and then I'm going to be taking a flat brush I'm going to be taking the other side of this blank canvas brush this is the E40 and I'm going to take print which is this highlighter shade here and I'm going to put this on the inner corner wow <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with charm which is like the pure white one and I think I'm going to put this on the inner corner. So it's kind of a little bit like a cut crease, but not. Let's see what this one's like. Wow. Okay. That is. That is white. <laughs> wow. 
Definitely don't need to get that Illa Mask one now. <gasps> that is stunning. Oh my god, that just kind of blended in beautifully. And then I'm going to be taking the exact same colours that we used previously and putting these on the bottom of my eye in the same order. Just so starting with P. Louise to begin with, which is like the yellowy shade with my bigger fluffier brush. So yeah, if you want to join like a makeup community where like everyone is just absolutely lovely, where like we're one big family and everyone's like really supportive of your makeup goals, you becoming a makeup artist. Because I know it is hard because there's so many people doing it in the game, but I promise you like there's enough room for all of us. As you know, I'm not a makeup artist, but everyone that is in that group is so supportive. I know that they'll find love for you too. So, and then next shade is Sunkissed with my Morphe brush, which is like the orangey one. I'm not going to put this one as far down as the P. Louise one. And then going in with Queen. And then going in with Latte with the same brush that I used for my eye above. And then last but not least, using a titchiest little bit of Bestie because it is so pigmented. And that tiny brush. I honestly cannot wait for what else you have to bring for us by the way P. Louise like if you watch this I hope I hope that you do but I highly doubt that you will but if you do then just can't wait for everything that you're going to bring out and to try the pigments and the base and just everything I'm also looking forward to all the tutorials that you're going to do using your palette so I know like other ways of doing it thank you so much for watching I'm going to put some eyelashes on and I'll come back with you in a moment and we'll finish off this video so for lashes, I'm going in with the Doll Lash in the style Kimberly, which is what I actually wore when I went to the P. Louise event. So this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching and thank you Paige for hosting such an amazing event and creating an eyeshadow palette that looks like this. Like, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see what other products you bring out um, and what this future is going to bring for you because I know it is going to be even bigger and better girl so thank you so much thank you for everyone who's watched this video <sighs> I just can't stop looking at my eyes like it just hot fire flames that's all I'm going to say <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button I upload Wednesdays, Fridays and Sundays so I'll hopefully see you on my next upload day until then I hope you have the best day ever bye